From May 4th through the 13th, Michael Voris will be traveling through Europe. If you want to attend one of his many talks, follow the link provided and find the one closest to you. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Gonzaga University, a Catholic institution located in Washington State, will now offer health insurance benefits to the spouses of same-sex employees. This according to their Human Resources Department. Washington legalized same-sex marriage last year and guaranteed homosexual couples would get the same legal benefits as those that a married man and woman receive. Gonzaga's Director of Community and Public Relations said that the school obeys state law regarding benefits eligibility. In contrast, the Catholic Church teaches that certain unjust laws not only can, but must be disobeyed. The Franciscan University of Steubenville has chosen Franciscan Father Sean Sheridan to succeed former President Father Terrence Henry. Father Sheridan left his career as an attorney, joined the Franciscan Third Order Regular in 2000, made his final vows in 2005, and earned his doctorate in canon law from the Catholic University of America. Father Sheridan's formal installment as Franciscan University's sixth president will take place during an inauguration ceremony planned for October 10th. A National Day of Remembrance for Aborted Children will be held on Saturday, September 14th of this year for the first time to honor the millions of babies who have been killed by abortion. The Day of Remembrance was announced by three national pro-life groups and will be commemorated by services in multiple U.S. cities at the grave sites of aborted babies. Father Frank Pavone, the head of Priests for Life, said his hope is that these memorials will remind the public that real human beings are killed by abortion. For those interested in participating, visit abortionmemorials.com to learn more. With a vote of 51 to 17, the Columbia Senate has voted down the bill to legalize so-called same-sex marriage. The president of the Bishop's Conference of Columbia said, quote, As the church, we have clearly outlined the meaning of marriage and how equating it to homosexual unions affects the very foundation of society. Earlier this week, we reported that the judge handling abortionist Kermit Gosnell's murder trial threw out three charges of murder after defense lawyers had claimed that there was no evidence any of the babies had born, been born alive. However, the judge later reinstated a charge of murder against a baby who was still moving and breathing for 20 minutes before it was killed. Instead, he dismissed charges for a baby boy who jerked its leg before Gosnell severed his spinal cord. The judge did not provide a reason for the initial decision and later said it was a clerical error and that the, the wrong murder charge had been tossed out. It's interesting to note that the judge, who was a defense attorney earlier in his career, had made a similar argument for a teenage girl charged with concealing the death of her newborn baby, saying that there were no signs of life. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about Satan's continuing attacks on the Catholic Church. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Education of the faith starts at home, and churchmilitant.tv is here to help. Please consider signing up your family for a churchmilitant.tv premium account for just $10 a month. Your family deserves the truth.